Hello, my dear other self, and welcome to your Mother Earth ASMR Reiki session. We are starting another beautiful series together for activating the rainbow light body through a requested series for chakra activation and clearing and balancing. So today we're going to focus on the root chakra and there are a lot of different ways that we can approach this chakra series, but I think I'm going to really prioritize what I feel like the most beneficial aspect to focus on in each chakra is. And for the root chakra, we're really going for a sense of safety, a sense of feeling safe in the world which also extends out to our sense of security and feeling like we belong. So I'm going to start this session with doing a little bit of clearing and bringing to the surface of any feelings of unsafety that you may have around the world today, around your life, any memories you may have. We're going to really gently, kindly, and in this safe container together, bring up those feelings to be cleared, soothed, and transformed together. So I'll get my first tool. So some of you have expressed that you have a really special connection with Toa Wed. And I do also. I actually made my husband's wedding ring out of koa wood and to the Hawaiians, koa symbolizes strength. And so while we're clearing and bringing up these memories or feelings or beliefs to the surface, we're also going to be infusing your auric field with the strength that this koa wood symbolizes. And so I'm going to start at your crown and work all the way down to your feet, really shaking the energy down into the earth so that it can be ready to be transformed. You can just do some deep breathing while we do this initial clearing. of your actual root chakra, which is right around the area of your hips and the base of your spine. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of extra shaking of this bean rattle in that area surrounding it, staying about a foot away from your physical body with loving respect. So I'll go ahead and focus there now.
beautiful job. I'm just going to send a little bit of soothing energy to your entire being and so much compassion. I understand that there are things that may have happened to you in your life personally or that you've seen or you know situations you've heard about that have caused you to feel unsafe in this world and I completely understand and acknowledge and respect anything that you or your loved ones or humanity or animals or any beings on this planet have been through and right now together we get to create our ideal we get to create a being ourself that feels safe in the world we get to release in this sanctuary like session our feelings of insecurity our beliefs around the world not being exactly how we want it to be so I'm just sending you some extra blessings that this process is easy and smooth and really beautiful for you and I also want to welcome any emotions you may feel any situations, any feelings of anger or sadness or grief any feelings that may be arising, any fearful thoughts or you know, sensations in your body. Sometimes people who have had traumatic experiences can actually physically feel their body want to shake so you can shake out the energy, allow yourself to cry if you need to or feel what you need to feel. Every single emotion is welcome here. Every single emotion is welcome. And you are safe now. And from this moment forward, and we're creating a safe world together. So thank you for playing your part and releasing this feeling of unsafety from your system. Thank you so much. Just sending some extra healing balm to your root chakra. To your hips, the seat of your emotional power, all the way down through your legs, down your feet into the earth. I'll share with you these stunning flowers. Look at them. They are so glorious. And they grow on a tree, which are my favorite kinds of flowers because I always love perennials. They feel so much better for the earth. And so I'm going to be taking these beautiful flowers and there's known information that the flowers benefit the emotional body and that's why there are these Bach floral essences and even homeopathic remedies that people use from flowers because they're very gentle. They bring a beauty and a love to the energetic field that is really special. So I'm going to just be smoothing this through your entire auric field all the way from your crown down to your feet. And similarly, you can be doing some deep breathing while we do this. Just really gently clearing 
any memories that you have that make you feel unsafe, any beliefs or thoughts you have that make you feel unsafe, we ask that these be cleared and completely transformed at this time to a new established anchored feeling of safety and security from this moment forward that not only benefits and serves you in your life, but touches every single person that you come into contact with. Beautiful. So I just want to take a moment to show you these beans that I found on that tree. So they're really big and plump beans and um, not sure if they're edible or not, but there are varieties of beans that grow on trees that you can eat, which is so special because you don't have to plant it and then harvest it and then they die in three months. They actually grow for years and years and sometimes decades and keep producing food for you. So it just makes so much more sense. One of those beans, if you're a gardener, if you like growing food, is called pigeon pea and you can find them, the seeds, online, but they turn into a bush, so if you live in a place where you can allow the tree to grow for about five months, then it will start to produce beans on the tree, and they're so good, they're, they're more pea-flavored than bean-like, but yeah, green beans that grow on a tree are pretty special. And I want to show you the inside, too, of a dried bean, because they're really quite beautiful seeds with these little speckles on them. So, I'll have to find out a little bit more about what variety this is to see if it's edible. So I'm going to quickly be doing one last little clearing of your field and blessing of your field and then we're going to do a little meditation that's going to help to really anchor in this intention for the day of establishing a deep sense of safety within ourselves. So I'm going to be using this beautiful Labradorite, which you can't really see with this lighting, but um, it has some beautiful rainbows in it. And then I'm also going to be using this cluster of um, selenite wands because I want to bring in the protective energies of the Labradorite and then I'm going to bring in the beautiful blessing high energy of the selenite wands and so we have the protection to feel safe in this session together and to continue to bless you and protect you after this session is over and you go about your day. So I'm going to go once again from your crown down to your feet, spending a little extra time in your root chakra. And you can take some deep breaths and as you're breathing, really try to bring the breath all the way into your body a deep belly breath and even try to feel the breath in your root at the base of your spine, in your hips, in that area at the bowl, the bowl at the base of your spine. Really try to bring the breath into that, doing some deep calming breaths and just filling up that, er that area with fresh energy and fresh life.
once again staying about a foot away from your physical body placing my hands on both sides of your hips do some deep breaths into that area with me bringing some revitalizing energy into your root chakra Releasing any imbalances and activating it with the highest, most beneficial frequency and energy possible. to just take a moment and if you can bring to your memory bank a feeling or a sensation or a memory of the time that you have felt the safest that you've ever felt in your life if you can bring that to the foreground now that would be very good and if you can't or you don't have one of those memories it's totally fine because we're going to be creating it together in a moment if you do have a memory that can come to your mind of the time you felt the safest and it could be of you being in one of your parents arms or having tea with a friend at a park or being in your bedroom or meditating or whatever it may be just really take a moment and a couple deep breaths bringing that memory into your field of when you felt the safest wonderful so we're going to create a memory for you now that feels even safer than that that feels as safe as that times a million or if you didn't have a memory come to mind it's going to be the most safe you've ever felt in your life so I'd like you to take a moment and just close your eyes and I'm going to be slowly shaking this grass through your field and we're going to be taking some deep, soothing breaths together and just calling upon this memory of feeling safe that we're creating together and bringing into existence we're asking that any memories be cleared the most gentle, loving way from your system, from your physical body, and from your auric field. Any memories be clear that make you feel, that have made you feel unsafe in the past. And from this moment forward, from this moment forward, you are only able to feel safe you are only able to attract experiences into your life that make you feel even more safe and you're only able to create experiences that lead to greater safety a greater feeling and experience of security and a greater sense of belonging from this moment forward and it's not only greater but it increases 
and it amplifies by the second, allowing you to become a fully healed, fully integrated, grounded, at home person and spirit or soul on this planet, helping others remember how to feel safe like we did perhaps when we were a baby either outside of the room or even in the room as we safely grew in our mother's womb we ask that any thoughts of polarity, any thoughts of dualism any thoughts of feeling that's safe, that's unsafe, be slowly and gently dissolved in a beneficial, benevolent, effective way that will allow you to feel greater peace, ease, and harmony in your life. So where are you when you feel the safest you've ever felt? It could be somewhere that you've been before where you felt so safe when you're there. Maybe in a relative's kitchen even. Or maybe all alone in nature. And maybe you feel safest in some place in your mind that you can create right now. Allow a vision to come of a place where you feel safe, more safe than you've ever felt in your life. Where do you feel that safety? Where do you feel this sensation of safety? Bring that down into your root chakra, into your hips in between your hips, at the base of the spine, in the bowl at the base of the spine that energy has been cleared out it's been cleared out and now you get to breathe in this new feeling of safety into that bowl circulating around in your root chakra and you can even imagine a, an eight that's just spiraling back and forth an infinite eight a figure eight running sideways at the base of your spine in your root chakra just really activating that chakra taking a few more deep breaths into the base of your spine and that area and region in between your hips and then allowing that energy to go down all the way to your feet anchoring you into the earth beautiful so we can slowly open our eyes if you've had them closed begin to ground yourself back in the room take a few more deep breaths and know that this safe sanctuary is a place that you can come back to anytime you need to to continue to cultivate that energy of safety security, at-homeness, groundedness. Wonderful job. May those feelings of safety continue to blossom inside of you and strengthen so that you can set an example for what a healed, whole, safe feeling individual feels like for others 
So I have a little beautiful red rose spray. It's an essence that's just rainwater with red rose soaked in it to kind of get a very subtle essence and mist. And I'm going to be misting this through your beautiful field of safety and security that we've just created together. And it's going to really just bring in the blessing of the water energy to continue to catapult this work that we've done together to continue to sprout it and grow it in every area of your life so that you can thrive and feel safe in every single aspect and domain within your life. As we're doing this video, there's a beautiful spider that is just weaving a web and crawling around on my light, which I forgot to turn on at the start of this video, but that's okay, because we have the daylight with us. But this gorgeous spider is just looking at me and it just... In Native American tradition, we consider spiders as a symbol of creativity and so much of the work that you and I do together is all about what are we creating. We may not have immediate control of our surroundings in this moment. We may, you know, be, have a few limitations that we feel are there even though that's just an illusion and we really are unlimited in spirit but regardless we always have the potential to create our mindscape to create our energetic field to be in a positive place to feel safe and secure and at any moment of the day where we might be feeling fearful or a little bit anxious we can remember the spider medicine, we can remember that all it takes is one little request of how can I transform this feeling of fear to a feeling of safety and trust? How would safety feel right now? How would it feel in my mind if I were thinking thoughts that made me feel safe? These are all the questions that you can use that are along the themes of what we've talked about before of just direct shifting of your mind, your mental field, your mental health, and where you're coming from, the perspective that you're choosing to see life from. So always remember your creative capacity in each moment to create safety. So I have this beautiful bouquet for you of some fresh flowers that were picked on my morning walk and it's for you and my hope is that it can really bring a softness to your work with your root chakra I know that a lot of people can store trauma, difficult memories and experiences in the root chakra and I'm not trying to minimize that at all. I understand that it can be a process of healing and I just want you to know that I'm here really supporting you, rooting you on and also trusting your timing. You can slowly dissolve memories you can slowly dissolve beliefs if that's a pace that you want to go at or you can very quickly ask life to transform these into something that greater serves you and brings you more happiness and well-being and I also pray that whatever 
experiences you've had, dramatic or difficult experiences you've had that have caused you to feel unsafe prior to this session, that they really be a catalyst for some way of serving and giving back and that you really understand whatever you need to understand and that you make the appropriate changes that you need to make in order to actually help other people that may need you to help them, that may need you to feel the degree of safety and security from you for their own healing to happen. And what I've noticed in my healing practice is that I always need to start my sessions with anchoring in this safe place so that my clients can feel safe and like they're able to open to the degree that they need to and heal to the degree that they need to. It's very difficult for other people to feel safe around you if you don't feel safe. So you are really, really helping the planet and helping other people by allowing your root chakra to be activated in this beautiful, secure place. And I thank you for your work that you've done in this field and that you will continue to do with the root chakra to keep it healthy, strong, and actively feeling safe and sharing that with everyone that you come across. So enjoy these flowers. And I'm going to just do one last little affirmational balance for your crown. Setting the intention that you only think thoughts that create a greater sense of safety. Moving down to your third eye chakra. That you only see memories and visions that create a greater sense of safety. Your throat that you only speak words that create greater safety for all life on this planet. Your heart, that you generate and amplify and enhance your ability to love others who feel unsafe and to help them transform that into a sense of safety as well, even through just being with them with your heart open and trusting what they're feeling. Your solar plexus, that you have all of your personal power completely reclaimed within you to be able to create from a place of safety. Down into the sacral continuation of that that you are able to create beautiful, safe, and healing situations, environments, and projects that you inspire others to do the same. And lastly, your root from this day forward. May you forevermore feel safe on this planet cleared of anything in the way of that and ready to live feeling that you are home you are at home within yourself within this world and that you get to share that at homeness with others so many blessings to you, and we'll see you soon for the next chakra. For now, aloha.